Hi class, my name is Mohammed Prince. This is my week two discussion post. So an overview of what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about scientific management and also how it applies to the Riverside Police Department. Um, after that, I'm going to talk about the giving of orders and how that theory also applies to the Riverside Police Department. And then in review, I'm going to um, talk about which theory holds true and which um, needs change. So scientific management, um, it's by Frederick Taylor. It, um, and it's, to simplify it, it uses scientific methods um, to analyze the most efficient uh, process in order to increase productivity in production. So when you look at scientific management com um, and how it's used in the Riverside Police Department, uh, it's used for analysis, um, for calls and dispatch, response times, crime frequencies, a lot of statistical analysis involved in uh, police work in the Riverside Police Department just because it deals with, um, with crime and um, law enforcement. There's a lot of statistics attached to that, murder rates, um, burglary rates, things like that. Um, also, um, crime prevention and um, how certain, uh, certain efforts in crime prevention can um, reduce these, um, these crime statistics. So there's a lot of scientific management that's being utilized within the Riverside Police Department. Um, and next we have the giving of orders. Um, so this theory is, um, is that uh, employees are more engaged and productive and, um, and happy when they're given autonomy in their roles. Um, when they're treated as, you know, smart, intelligent people, and they're allowed to work cooperatively with their peers. So this is the, the theory of um, the giving of orders. It's uh, more focused on employee engagement and um, sort of empowering the employee and treating them as, as an intelligent individual who... Um, can get the job done on their own and, and kind of work cooperatively with their peers in that process. So looking at the giving of orders um, and how it's used in the Riverside Police Department, um, the person giving orders in the police department um, is the chief of police. So the chief of police, it's, it's their job to basically run the organization, run the department, and um, and when you look at these officers, these deputies, they're they're given um, autonomy in their roles. They have uh, very strong de decision making skills. They're treated as um, intelligent individuals. They're treated as um, individuals with high integrity and high morals. And they're also allowed to work cooperatively with their peers. Uh, which is frequently required in their jobs. So um, that's how the giving of orders is um, utilized in the Riverside Police Department. So in review, I believe that the giving of orders holds true um, because it's it's a theory that is utilized in in police departments and it's always going to need to be utilized in police departments. However, I think something that needs change is scientific management um, and the way it's being used. And um, I think that it can be utilized for more uh, preventative measures and not just um, recording of statistics when it comes to crime in uh, police work. And um, a lot of times uh, scientific management and efficiency is uh, so so hyper focused that you lose the quality of the services being provided you know when you just focus too much on efficiency so i think that the the giving of orders definitely is a better management theory um when, when it applies to police work in 